We have this incredible continuity in this country in the form of the coronation. Other countries still have a monarchy, but very, very few have a medieval, in fact, none has a medieval coronation in the way that we do. And that we have a collection of uh, regalia that is used for that um, is, 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 is astonishing. The concept of the crown dates back at least 2,000 years. Originally a simple band, a halo of light, it represents the sovereign as head of the nation. Then there are the other sacred items in the collection that throughout the ceremony symbolize different aspects of the monarch's powers. The orb is an expression of religious and moral authority. The scepter embodies power. The ampulla and spoon represent the most holy part of the ceremony when the monarch is anointed with the coronation oil. And the sovereign's ring, known by some as the wedding ring of England, symbolizes the lifetime commitment of the monarch. It is an amazing thing to see these objects, which in a way are very familiar to people from afar, but to see them up close like this, actually that proximity is extraordinary because you can really appreciate what astonishing objects they are. For many, the role of the crown jewels has been largely forgotten after 65 years without a coronation. They're not just objects of tremendous beauty and, and, and skill and craftsmanship and so on. They are an expression of the way in which authority has worked in this country, the, the relationship between the sovereign and the subject. So there is a kind of an expression of all of our history in that, in that relationship in those objects.